What's up everybody? I'm Boozy, and if you like artwork and creativity, stick around, you might like the video. In today's video, we're busting out the 600 page sketchbook that I got for Christmas, again, and we're going to draw I Love Lucy because if you haven't ever watched that show, she's hilarious. And we're going to draw her today, so let's get into it. Alright everybody, what's up? I'm Otis Boozy, and we're in voiceover mode now. I'm starting with marker bases of all the colors I am going to use. So red for the lips, blue for the eyes, gray for the earrings, pink for the shirt, peach for the skin tone, and orange for her significant red hair that she is most known for. Lucille Ball is who we're drawing. And blocking in them shapes of the eyebrows. And now the hair. You know, I never saw a picture of her in color, and she was so pretty. And I don't know if you guys watched that documentary on her where Nicole Kidman played her, but she did a really, really, really good job. I wasn't quite sure if, uh, I was going in little circles, and I wasn't sure if it was going to show the texture, but I went over it with colored pencils, so it didn't really matter. I thought it would have been cool for some texture. And now we're using some peach for her skin tone. And let me tell you, this was very frustrating because I spent $100 on that Jazza box and my marker dried out. Every time I get a peach marker, it works for about two drawings and then it dries out and it's very, very irritating. So here's me struggling to get her face colored in because all my peach markers are dried out and smudging and leaving streaks. So that's really wonderful. Nothing gets me frustrated more than a dried out marker. She was always getting herself into some kind of shenanigans, wasn't she? The crap was hilarious. I love the show. I love Lucy. <laughs> I had to keep taking breaks for the nib to refill and crap. And this is an important step for me because doing the base colors makes my life so much easier of having to use the pencils. You don't have to press as hard and it just, it's a nice, smooth, flat colored background and you can do your shading on top and it's really, really nice and it's a, one of my favorite steps to make my life easier. We're going in with some pencils to do some shadow work and white is for the highlights and no no eye is actually white so you want to add some grays in there really lightly to make it look like it has shadows in there too And that one side of her face is really, really dark, so we're using a darker brown, darker peach, a tannish color to block in those shadows. And the other side of her face, where the other marker messed up, I was using white to try to blend it in so it didn't stand out like a sore thumb. Just adding some of the wrinkles and things in the shirt with some white blacks and a little bit of a darker pink. Now let's get into that hair. That famous hair. Trying to block in the shapes and the curls where it's like swirled up. Going in with black first, as you can see. And then I will go in with white, and I didn't even really necessarily have to use a bunch of orange because the marker did most of the work for me. It's super nice. Getting them highlights in the hair where the light would be shining on it. And your handy dandy Mod Podge for my artist boozy touch, adding that shiny glitter. And that looks super creepy. 
Wowzer, that was pretty. Look how pretty that silver glitter is, though. I love that stuff. And I got it at Wally World Walmart. Now for the lips to make them pop. All I do is use a paintbrush and dab in Mod Podge where I want the glitter and then dump the glitter all over it. And signature time! And this is the final result. I actually ended up adding some glitter, like different shades of glitter. I added red glitter to her lips, blue glitter, and black glitter to her eyes and pink glitter to her shirt and some like chunky-ish glitter with some fine glitter to her earrings to make them look blinged out and fancy. So I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video please like and subscribe and come back for some more artsy fartsy fun. Thank you for watching.